Cautiously. Hi. Hi. She's giving you the once over. Yeah. She's deciding if you're if you get to stay or you get to kick to the curb. Oh really? She said stay. Stay or go. Oh <laughs> good. Oh thank goodness, I've been accepted. Good. Has Pampy actually bitten any of your dates? Uh yeah, she's nipped or bit all of them. Some a nip, some a bite, some a hole in their jeans. <laughs> It's like, it's like living with Jaws. It's like a shark dog. <laughs> Former boyfriend Henry has experienced Pampy's Jaws firsthand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh. How was it dating somebody who was obviously very attached to their dog? It's a problem. Well, you need to make a decision up front what you're going to do that day. You can't just be spontaneous. Okay. It just it doesn't work. I think that Pampy is uh, too involved in Stacy's life and uh, her life would look totally different if she takes control of it. The lack of spontaneity and the biting aren't Henry's only gripes. Seeing a girl that um, kisses her dog or, or, you know, stuff like that, I have a problem with it. So when you see that once, you're like, okay. So wait, a there. okay. You didn't, yeah. you didn't have Pampy kiss you, well, it's, it's lick you, and then you like, kissed she's, him. She's, she's <laughs> no, seriously, did you? I don't know. It's possible. I'm not gonna. Don't kiss your dog in front of your man. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's a bad threesome, for sure. I think the first thing is, she has a long history of biting people. Everybody, yeah. particularly men. Right. How can you have a relationship with a man, especially when the dog's biting? When I came through the gate, I mean, I got a reception. She barked at me, and a lot of dogs bark. Um, and she came up to me, and she gave me the look. Yeah. And I know that look in dogs. Yeah. And I knew that as she was sniffing around my legs, I knew that if I bent down to try and pet her, she would have bitten me. I mean, all the signals were there. The, the biting, I am terrified. And it's, it's a really serious thing. Why do you think she bites? I think at the outset of her life, before she came into my life and I rescued her, I think she had no control over her surroundings, over the people that, the way people approached her, the way people treated her. And I think this is all about reclaiming control and this is all about asserting herself and letting you know, I'm in control, I'm in charge, don't mess with me. Hmm. Funny, because I see it totally, totally different. different. Oh. <laughs> I do oh. believe there is a very, very deep rooted insecurity there and that she has found that um, coping with people that she fears in the way that she does helps her. And dogs that are very insecure then control environment. So in one way they're controlling, yes, but it doesn't come from a place of confidence. It comes from a place of deep, deep insecurity. I want to give Pampy some pleasant experiences around men because essentially she fears. Yeah. And her whole body language is telling me that she just is scared. So we are going to show her that when men come here, that it's not a bad thing. This technique is going to help Stacy protect her dates when they come over and also make her feel a bit more relaxed. So. Victoria has briefed three visitors on how to approach the home safely. Now, she shows Stacy how it's done. Just come up and throw a treat at her. There, that's it. Lovely. She's now sniffing your pants, which is really good because she's getting your scent. All right, and that's really important for her to get information about you. Now she's looking at you, throw one over there. Now we walk. Good, let's go. Lovely, all right. Victoria's first guest makes it safely into the house. Now, it's Stacy's turn. Hello, come on in. So much of this relies on Stacy being able to manage her environment correctly and being able to tell whoever comes onto her property, tell those people what they need to do. And just toss the treats, just casually, and then let's stand for just a moment. Once you started to realize there are treats connected to anyone entering the property, especially men, that good things are gonna happen. She was picking up really, really fast. So it was, it was exciting. 
tell him also about if he wants to move, sort of throwing a treat. Oh, you can throw a treat, which will diffuse the movement. With Stacy's guidance, the second guest also makes it inside. I think Stacy did a really good job. I had to remind her of a couple of things, but she seemed to be a lot more relaxed than she previously had been. And we got guy number two inside the house, and he sat down, and then Pampy lay down. Now for the final test. Victoria's third visitor is wearing sunglasses, which Pampy hates. Go for it. Yeah. Throw the treat. OK, throw the treat. But even with the sunglasses, Pampy is more interested in earning a treat than in showing aggression. It was so much less uh, anxiety, barking, tension, as, a, as compared to other gentlemen who have come down that driveway with sunglasses on. So I give Pampy an A+, Victoria an A+. Be, be good, too. Now, she's leaving them both for a few days to continue their training and work on a few new challenges. Go to the canyons mm -hmm. and get a couple of guys sort of set up mm -hmm. throughout the walk that can just walk past her and throw her a treat. Mm -hmm. And then strike up a conversation and then get the guy to walk with you. Okay. And gradually hand over the leash to him. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. All right. I'll be thinking of you. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'll need it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you. It's all new concepts to me. So, of course, I'm, I'm a little bit, you know, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. It's day one without Victoria, and Stacy's starting her homework. Hey, Josh. She's got three male friends on standby to greet Pampy along the trail. You can give Pampy a little pet, too, when she's had a couple treats and go down to her level. That's what I have discovered. With each friend using treats. That's good. She didn't maul you. Praise and affection. Good job, Pamp. Pampy's right. more and more comfortable with Stacy's male companions. The last gentleman, my friend Thomas, took the leash over and walked her back down the hill. And she's not used to letting other people drive the leash. Across town, Stacy has her friend Henry stop by to continue working with Pampy. Take the pouch. Okay. You're going to throw her some of the treats. Okay. Hi. I love seeing you give Pampy positive experiences around men. This could help your dating life immeasurably. Inside, Pampy's performance boosts Henry's confidence. I'm going to take a risk and, and really give her the treat with my hand. Okay. Oh, and look, you got all your fingers still there. That's that is, great. <laughs> yeah, that's a progress. What a difference. Pampy nearly bit Henry during my observation, and now she's very calm around him. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.